My name is Isaac Kirsten, owner, outfitter, professional hunter of Wow Africa. Myself, my family, would like to invite you to see a little bit of what we do in Wow Africa. We've recently relocated to the Northern Cape on an area of the Car Plateau, which is situated about 3,800 feet above sea level. The new area that we've moved into is a massive area. We are extremely excited and we've been there the past year, 2023, and it got a lot of learning to do. I've hunted these areas for years in the past, in the 30 years I've been in the business, I never thought I would situate it there as a whole. The Car Plateau is about 100 miles from the east to the west. And as I said, it descends from 3,800 feet down to the bottom areas that we, that we hunt, and um, which is about 1,000 feet less. In total, where we situate it is about 100,000 acres, all to yourself. To the north, we've got the Kalahari area, and there's another 100,000 acres out there. In the Karoo, we've got our Karoo Lodge, Wow Africa Lodge, which got 10 rooms and we can accommodate up to 26 people if needed. You'll be entertained by our own chef. There's a spa, a jacuzzi, swimming pool, and you're just in the middle of nowhere with one of the best places in the world to enjoy the stars in the evening and the sounds of nightlife. One of the best attributes that we have since we moved over here is the abundance of game species. And specifically for those guys that also want to collect, that's been in Africa a lot of times, battling to get certain species. So we've got over 50 species in our areas and it just makes it for wonderful scenery as well as wonderful hunting. Now whether you're a rifle hunter or a bow hunter or a musket, you welcome your bows. We have established and built close to 20 blinds and keep on improving on the blinds for the bow hunters in various different areas, whether it's near the gorge or whether it's in the savannah area or whether it's on a, on a hill. We look at the, where is the animals and the different species walking and going around. A majority of these blinds are over water holes so, and, and they're all equipped with trail cameras which give us a good opportunity during the year to see what big kudus or eland or uh, scimitar or gemsbuck is walking in a specific area which makes it just gives you that little bit of an edge and a little bit of an advantage of putting the right hunter into the right blind looking for a specific animal. Another big advantage of our new areas is completely malaria free, disease free, you don't need any shots and the big thing that we do like about our area is extremely safe. We're only one hour away from Kimberley Airport, so your entry into our area will be Kimberley Airport. You can fly either to Johannesburg or Cape Town and take a short one hour flight into Kimberley from either Cape Town or Johannesburg. If you want to do a little bit of photographic stuff in Cape Town or Johannesburg, that can be arranged. We've got vehicles, tour guides, accommodation, everything ready for you if that's something that you would like to do before or after the trip. We do have an abundance of rifles if you don't want to bring your own. That's very easy for us to um, supply from small to very big calibers for whatever your need is. We've always been one of those companies that we want you to bring the family. We want you to enjoy your time 
with your family and for that reason we know it's very expensive to bring them to Africa and if you have youngsters we want them to be introduced into Africa. For that reason children under 12 comes for free and children under 18 comes for half price and that's what we like to do get them involved and get them give them that African experience for future clients and future safaris to come. Now for those of you that's not hunters or even for the hunters that want to do a little bit of non-hunting non activities before or after the trip. As I mentioned, we can do a lot of stuff in Cape Town, whether it's shark cage diving or wine route, wine, wine trips, uh, go and see the penguins, um, Table Mountain, the castle. There's quite a lot you can do in, in Cape Town. And if you come to our region, we're very well known as one of the best places in the world that diamonds have been taken out. So Kimberley Mine is right there, situated on our doorstep. There's a lot of battlefields that was uh, fought in 1899 to 1902 between the English and the Boers. A lot of sites, and archaeological sites also in the area. As I mentioned before, um, this area is billions of years old. Whether you go to very, very old caves that's situated in the north to us, do a Kalahari trip, go on a boat trip. Uh, there's uh, the Vaal River and the Orange River. Uh, is the two longest rivers in South Africa and they get together very close to our property and it makes up for very good dining, sunset cruises, etc. And if you have a few extra days, one of the best parks in Southern Africa is the Kalahari Gemsburg Park or the Galagari Gemsburg Park as it's known now. This is a park that's joined with Namibia and Botswana and it's about four and a half hours drive from us up north. And it's one of the most marvelous places where you can see big lions, leopard, cheetah, and thousands of springbuck, blue the beast, gemsbuck. Um, it's just an amazing place with all this red soft dunes. And we've got very good accommodation and uh, lodges in the area that we can Remote for you, it can take you, it can do a self-drive or you can do it with one of our tour guides. Just to elaborate on some of the species, um, that, as I said, mentioned before, we've got more than 50 species. Is uh, This is one of the few places in Southern Africa, well actually in the world, where you can come and do the Grand Slam Springbok with a bow. We've got a lot of blinds in different areas so you can see where the, the white Springbok and the black Springbok and the copper Springboks come in. And the guys have had very good success. So whether you're a rifle bow hunter, Grand Slam Spring are definitely one of them on top of your list. Big buffaloes in our areas, Gemsbach, Roan antelope, sable antelope. There is just too many to, to offer in our area. Another thing that you can really look forward is this is one of the few very natural areas for Ordat or, um, or Barbary sheep as some people might know it. With this very big cliffs that we have, it's uh, perfect habitat for them and uh, in the year 2023 we've taken numerous record size audats off, off the property so definitely a must for someone that don't have that on your collection and come in and tick it off. Some other exotics we have is European wild boar, axis deer, fallow deer, scimitar oryx so just to but name a few. And whether you're just looking for plains game or you're looking for that cape buffalo We've got very good Cape Buffalo in our area, as well as our northern area in the Kalari. On that subject, we've got uh, another camp there. It's called Turu Lodge. Anybody that wants to specifically go and visit the Kalari or the Kalari Sands, it will work you out $100 a day additional per person. All our prices and our price structures within the packages is all for the Karoo Lodge. But if you opt for to go for um, a newer camp, bigger rooms, um, also a magnificent area. You just add that few dollars and uh, we will arrange that you get there. If you want to visit Tudor Lodge, the closest airport is Uppington. That's about an hour's drive. Or you can do a combination of the two. Uh, fly into Kimberley, fly out of Uppington, or fly into Uppington, fly out of Kimberley. And we can do a combination of both the Karoo Lodge and the Kanahari Lodge. And for those lovebirds out there, maybe Africa is the place where you can go, come and tie the knot. If that's the case, we do destination weddings and it's definitely something that none of your friends have done. If you have a small unique group 
we can accommodate at least 30 people in total in our one area and come and tie the knot with us we arrange everything from the venue the food accommodations game drives music etc all in one all in-house all with the same company whether it's picking up at your airport take you back arrange things before and after the time arrange your honeymoon after the time all of that we can do in-house here with our africa since we arrived here in the Karoo, we've constantly broadened the accommodation, the venue, and the specialities that we, we want to offer to the clients. We've recently just completed our trophy room, and it's one of the exciting places where we can, you can come in the evenings, have a cigar. And if you're not familiar with our animals, we go through the various full mounts that we have. We discuss shot placement, and specifically for those youngsters, where they can have a good look of where should we place it, whether it's a bow hunter, rifle hunter, and also look at the difference between, for example, a black wildebeest, a blue wildebeest, or uh, the different colors in, in the variants on the, on the white blaze bug, copper blaze bug, common blaze bug. All these different things just gives you a better idea once you hear or familiarize yourself with the animals that we've got in here and on our property. There's a reason they call our area the miracle in the middle. Since we basically dead center in South Africa, but miracle of the normal Karoo, gaining into the green Karoo, going into the Kalari, with all these different escarpments and the different habitats. And to just put the cherry on the cake, there's all the friendly people in our area, that all the excellent food you receive, all the different species, good accommodation. You'll come as a client and I can guarantee you, you'll leave as friend and family. So come and enjoy Wild Africa with us and uh, we'll make your trip the trip of a lifetime.